Hey everybody, I'm Joe. And I'm Ben. And this is the all new 2025 Paradigm 385 FL. Ben, what are some of the specs on this thing? On this 385, it's gonna come in at 41 feet, four inches, and right around 14,500 pounds. I love that. All right, why don't you guys join us on a tour inside? All right, Ben, now that we're inside the 385 FL, what's the first thing that people are gonna notice right when they walk in the door? So right when you walk in, you're gonna see our brand new decor for the 2025 model, which is gonna be our Harmony Linen, which is just gonna be a modern design. It's also gonna give you a natural flow with those earth tones. I love that, creating that balance while you're camping. Yeah. It looks really, really good. All right, now, next we're gonna talk about the front living room. All right, Ben, now we're in the 385 FL front living room. Yeah. This is why we call it FL. Yeah. It looks like this is a great space. Uh, explain to the viewers why this is such a good space to entertain. So on a front living, you're gonna have just an awesome hub where you've got opposing slides and you're gonna have a great view of the television, awesome cross conversational seating between the recliners and then the two sleeper sofas on opposite sides. That's awesome. So you got those electric recliners right across from your huge TV and then two sleeper sofas that do come out. So you could sleep four people. You could, yeah. That's very cool. All right, and then behind us is this great entertainment wall. Yeah. Why don't we talk about that next? Yeah, so you've got our all new Philips smart TVs that we're doing on all of those 2025 paradigms. Um, 65 inch here, you'll have storage over the top, the JBL sound system, which will be dual zoned in the living room as well as in the bathroom fireplace and then our new slide and glide doors up in this front area very nice giving you tons of storage huge tv to watch the big game and a nice 5500 btu electric fireplace yeah. i love that all right the other really cool space about this is it's just so large so you can sit comfortably six people up here if you have a couple kids throw two bean bags on the floor eight this is just the ultimate entertainment space. Now let's go step down and take a look at that kitchen. One of the really nice things about the 385 FL is you have three dedicated zones in this floor plan, making it really feel like a true home because you have your front living in the front, you have your kitchen eating space, and then you have your master bedroom bathroom up in the back, which really makes it feel more homey. Yeah. So talking about the kitchen though, you got this huge kitchen island with solid surface countertops, deep stainless steel sink, Something really cool that Alliance does is plumbing shot off valves at every major plumbing location. And then across, you're gonna have a nice hutch area or buffet where you have, again, that solid surface countertop, tons of drawer storage. And these are all birch glazed hardwood that are reinforced to support up to 90 pounds. And then Ben, why don't you take everything about the appliances and everything going on back here? Yeah, so on the backside, new countertops for 2025. One of the things that we wanted to do differently was run that backsplash up to match it. So it gives it a waterfall look, more consistent, cleaner look on that end. You'll have a 30 inch microwave, the turkey tested oven, which is gonna allow for more things to put inside the oven, as well as having that four burner. Again, all of the cabinet doors are gonna be soft closed with magnet latches. A nice little upgrade with that residential feel is gonna be the utensil divider. And then behind me, you're gonna have that 19 cubic foot refrigerator that will be fully 12 volt. You'll have it plumbed for an ice maker. And then on the side over here, you'll have a floor to ceiling pantry with adjustable shelves inside. That's awesome. And another feature about the kitchen space, really where the slide outs are, is yeah. it's flush floor. Absolutely. So you don't have that one, two inch stove tub, toe stubber that you could yeah. find in some other brands. You don't have to reach all the way over the oven to the back. Yeah, that's very nice. All right, why don't we go ahead and talk about the dinette space next? All right, Ben, now that we're over on the slide out on the camp side, what's going on right here? Yeah, so this is gonna be your campsite slide or the dinette little area. And then within this, talking about being able to multitask and do things, you can set it up to where it's a desk or you can convert it into a four chair dinette. With all of our atrium windows, fully functional windows opening up 50% more than our competition, this little area is gonna be perfect for anyone that wants to look out into the campsite and or get some work done 
or C4 to eat. Yeah, I love that. Really making it a multifunctional space for those remote workers or just people with families that have four people and, yeah. or have guests over that want to play a game of cards. Mm -hmm. Very smart. Next, let's hit on that half bath. Let's do it. So off of the kitchen on the 385, you have a porcelain soft closed lid toilet. You'll have storage directly underneath the sink as well as storage above the sink in your medicine cabinet. That's awesome. Makes it easy to access in travel mode. But Ben, why don't you take them into the primary bedroom and bathroom and finish it out? All right, so now up in the upper bed deck on this 385 FL, in the bedroom, you're gonna have that king bed with storage underneath. You'll have the nightstands on each side that are gonna have 110 as well as USB ports. Uh, you'll have the new bed decor, lots of windows. Again, those are fully functional windows. Uh, you're gonna have the bar door on the entrance that's gonna be self-latching. And then directly across from the bed in the little dresser area, you're gonna be able to sit down on a padded seat if you wanna be able to change. So you're gonna have three pull-out drawers that are gonna give you a ton of storage, as well as a closet that'll have hanging rods, and then another three pull-out drawers on the bottom side of that, the Philips Smart TV. You're also gonna have the AC up above the bed, which is gonna be set up with that new RV airflow, which is gonna give you another 40% more airflow into this coach up at the upper bed deck. Now, let's go check out some of the features in the bathroom. All right, up in this master bathroom, you're gonna have a ton of creature comforts for those customers that are gonna be traveling long distances. Not only will you have one closet that is gonna give you a mirror, four pull-out drawers, as well as a hanging rack on the inside, but you'll have a secondary full closet that can be utilized in multiple ways, whether it is gonna be additional clothes or washer dryer prep. You'll have another one of those soft clothes seat lids in the bathroom for that toilet. That's also gonna be a macerator toilet on this floor plan. Up on your vanity in your sink area, you're gonna have probably the largest residential countertop that you would see in an RV. Another four pull-out drawers, storage underneath and above the sink for any of those bathroom utensils that you're gonna be using. And to finish off the bathroom, you'll have a full fiberglass shower surround with a teak seat that'll support up to 250 pounds. Now, let's go back into the living room and talk about some of those creature comforts. All right, Ben, so what are some of those great creature comforts that you're gonna come to find across the board on Paradigm Line? So on the Paradigm Line, you'll always have three ACs, that's gonna be standard, as well as having all of that residential can lighting in the ceiling. And then coming on down, you're gonna have flush floor slides, no carpet, no floor vents, and then a ton of awesome accent lighting between the center section and then around the edges. I love that. And you also, I think I mentioned it earlier, but you got your plumbing shut off valves at every major plumbing location and color coded number wiring. So if like one light does go out, you're easy to diagnose where that is. Yeah, the service side of that is super simple. I love that, making it super easy. All right, why don't we go ahead and head outside and talk about all the great features you're gonna find outside on the 385FL. All right, Ben, let's talk about it. How is the Paradigm built? So the Paradigm specifically is gonna be built on what we called our benchmark chassis, which is a 101 inch wide body, which is gonna allow for approximately 30% more storage uh, on the underside. Now, on this sidewall here, you'll have the new decor on that white fiberglass sidewall, and then we will use a composite material on the inside as well as the outside of that coach, which is gonna give more resistance to mold, mildew, and water, which is gonna be a big benefit to that retail customer. I love that. And then the Asdell material, that composite material you're talking about, it's also double insulation factors that Luon wood, and it has um, uh, a lighter weight, giving you more carrying capacity yeah, when you're traveling. And then behind the wall, in between the two composite layers, that's a aluminum. It'd be aluminum in the framing, and then you'll also have a layer of that styrofoam, that block foam insulation. I love that, giving you just superior protection compared to our competition. Yeah. Great, all right. Next, we're gonna talk about all the storage you're gonna find on the 385FL. All right, so this is the front passage storage. While it may not look like much, there's more to be seen, so just stay tuned. But what's going on in the front pass-through of the 385FL? So this is going to be that front pass through. So inside of here, you're always going to have your LED lighting. You'll have 110 volt as well as our cool, unique technology and the fact that you can control your slides and your awnings from both inside the pass through as well as inside the coach. I like that, giving you that safety factor. So if there's a tree, a picnic table, your neighbor, something, you're not yelling in that, or if you're camping alone, you can easily set your coach up 
that way. There's yeah. also controls on the off cam side, right? Yep. For the other two slides. Yeah, for either side. Nice, that makes a lot of sense. And then additionally, it looks like you got a spray port out here at LP Quick mm -hmm. Connect. So this could also double as like a true outdoor kitchen space. Absolutely. That makes a lot of sense. You got, it's underneath the awning, giving you that ultimate protection while you're camping. So we talked, we teased a little bit about additional storage. Why don't we head back there and show you all the space this thing has. All right, Ben, I got a fun fact yeah. for you. You know that Sir Mix a Lot song, Baby Got Back? Yeah. This is what he was talking about. This the is 385 inch tall. 100%. <laughs> so this is a lot of storage. Ben, what are some of the details about the storage space back here? Yeah, so on the back of this 385 FL, we wanted to be able to incorporate the fact that the bedroom is lifted up over. So what do we do with all that dead space? We actually are gonna put a 10 foot pull out tray on the back end of it. You'll have four storage doors on the side that are gonna open that 101 inch wide body chassis. And there will still be motion lights and 110 volt outlets on the inside of that. So you could use some stuff that you need to charge underneath there, anything. And then this tray, how much weight can it support? This tray will support 800 pounds. That's awesome. All right, so why don't we go ahead and talk about the running gear where the rubber meets the road. Let's do it. So on this paradigm, one of the unique features that we love talking about is our performance running gear. And so with that performance running gear, we're always gonna have a two inch torsion tube that is going to add additional welds, but it's also going to increase the strength and rigidity that you'll have on this suspension system. We'll always do the Super G rated 4,400 pound rated tires, as well as the shortened spring hangers with the welded V brackets in for reinforcement. And then we're always adding an extra leaf spring to that suspension system, giving you the 4,000 pound springs, 7,000 pound axles, and then ending it with that Moride CRE 3000 suspension system with the heavy duty half inch thick shackles and then that wet bolt kit, which is gonna add to the towability and the ease of that. Now, what you're looking at on this 385 is actually the upgrade with the Cooper H rated tires with the disc brakes, as well as 8,000 pound axles. Ben, thanks for explaining how important that performance running gear is. Why don't we head to the back of the coach and talk about the rear wall? All right, Ben. So this may look like an ordinary back wall, obviously with this back baggage door here for that 10 foot more I tray, mm -hmm. but what else is going on back here? So on all of our rear walls, it's always gonna be a fully laminated wall. And then we'll always have the backup camera prepped. Uh, we added additional LED lighting and kind of redesigned where these were to give more visibility when they're out on the road. Uh, we also added a reinforced ladder, which is gonna be a 300 pound weight rated ladder. And then on the bumper, you're gonna have 3,000 in the tow and then 300 in the carrying. Nice, this is just a great back wall for all your camping needs. And what's cool about that ladder is it's made of steel. And so it also doubles as like a spot to tie your dog up or anything like that. Yeah. Let's head to the off camp side and talk about some of the features you'll find over there. All right, Ben, now on the off camp side toward the front of the coach, some of the key features you're gonna find over here, are your water heater, furnace and convenience center. What are some of the features they need to know about this space? Yeah, so obviously on this, you're gonna have the additional slide out switches for this side of your off door side, as well as 110 volt You'll always have our new automatic drain valve. So those are gonna be electric. If they do need to do a manual override, there will be a cutout on that bottom side. Then you're gonna have the Nautilus panel here, which is gonna allow for easy setup with the color coded and then the positional diagrams there. They're gonna be able to do any style of camping. And then as always, we'll have our little cutout over here. That's gonna be for easy access into the panel for the water pump and all that stuff. Anything you need to access behind the convenience center. And then the water heater and furnace, what are some of the specs on those? Yeah, so on the water heater, it'll be a 12 gallon gas electric. And then on the furnace, you're gonna have over 40,000 BTUs in that HVAC system. Nice, all right, let's head to talk about the propane and hydraulic leveling next. All right, moving just a little bit further ahead, What's going on with the propane tanks on the Paradigm 385? Yeah, so you'll have a 30 pound propane tank, which is standard. But one of the things that we like to incorporate in everything is always just thinking ahead, right? Customer feedback. So you will have enough space within this if a customer wanted to add a 40 pound tank, uh, and then you'll have one on this side and then one on the camp side. Nice, giving you 80 gallons or 60 gallons, depending yeah. on what you're doing. Awesome. And then up here, you got your hydraulic leveling controls. What I like personally about this is you can actually see the truck from here instead of where some of our competition might put it in the pass through. Yep. You can't see your truck. Yeah, so when you're wanting to unhook, yeah. super simple. Yeah, what are some other great features about the hydraulic leveling system? Yeah, so the hydraulic leveling system, I guess the easiest thing would just be that it's one button, right? You can get to the campsite 
you can lift it up off the truck and you can just hit auto level. And then at that point you can walk away while you're getting rest of the campsite set up. Nice, super simple, easy camping. I love it. Let's head to the front of coach and talk about some of the features up there. Let's do it. All right, Ben, on the front here, why don't we start from the top down and talk about what's on the roof? Yeah. So on the roof of your 385 Paradigm, and any Paradigm for that matter, you're gonna have your three AC units. You'll have a single 320 watt solar panel, and then you're gonna have all the vents and the fans up there. And finally, the roof is made up of a PVC material, which is gonna be more solar reflective. It's also gonna be more tear resistant, and it's patch repairable, and the material on that is gonna be warranted for the lifetime. Nice. And then the ACs, those are all 13.5, right? They're 13.5. So you can run all three off of 50 or two off of 30. Yep. High efficiency, low amp draw. Nice. Okay. Then moving down to the front cap, looks like it's a beautiful automotive front cap yeah. painted. They got those three LED lights with that nice Alliance logo coming out. Just very beautiful, sleek design. But moving underneath the front cap, what's going on? Yeah. So under the front cap, you're going to have your Kurt Rotoflex pin box, which is just gonna allow for an easier tow and an easier pull. Then below that, that top compartment is gonna be where your charge controller is and some additional storage. And so anything else that you wanna take with you, maybe some toe straps, anything else like that you've got. On the left side is gonna be the setup for the propane generator. And then your battery compartment is off on to the right. That's great. There's just so much storage on this 385. Why don't we head to the camp side of the trailer and talk about some of the additional features that we may have missed. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this tour of the 2025 Paradigm 385 FL. Ben, if they want to learn more or if we miss something, how can they do so? Yeah, check out our website at allianceRV.com. And then how else can they follow us? Yeah, so if you guys actually go to any social platform to search at Alliance RV, you're gonna see sneak peeks and behind the scenes on everything we're doing with the Paradigm and more product lines. Thank you guys for joining and we hope you choose to join the Alliance. You'll have a teak seat in the shower, which is gonna set up for additional, not additional seating. Jeez, you don't have five people in here, man. Cool. All right, Ben, let's talk about it. Let's talk construction. How is this thing built? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs>